Let's talk about SIADH versus DI. SIADH stands for Syndrome of Inappropriate Antidiuretic Hormone. DI stands for Diabetes Insipidus. SIADH is high levels of ADH, where DI is low levels of ADH. What is ADH? ADH stands for Antidiuretic Hormone, and this helps regulate the amount of water in your blood. So if we have high levels of ADH, this means more water is going to be kept in the body. And if we have low amounts of ADH, this means more water will be lost through urine. Since SIADH has high levels of this, your body will hold on to water. So a memory trick to help is SIADH think soaked inside. In DI, your body produces little to no ADH. As a result, the body loses a lot of water through urine. So the memory trick here is DI think dry inside. Now for urine output. This is a big thing tested on when it comes to SIADH versus DI. If your body is holding onto fluids or is soaked inside, you will have a low urinary output of concentrated urine. And for DI, they are dry inside, which means they have a high urinary output of diluted urine. Now let's look at urine specific gravity, which is also a highly tested topic. But before we dive in, you can find more nursing school content, charts, and memory tricks in the complete nursing school bundle. Let's dive into urine specific gravity. Remember SIADH has concentrated urine and DI has diluted urine. A normal specific gravity is 1.005 to 1.03. SIADH you will see greater than 1.03 or a high urine specific gravity. You can remember this by the memory trick concentrated urine makes the numbers curve up. And DI, you'll typically see a urine specific gravity of less than 1.005. You can remember this by the memory trick, diluted urine makes the numbers go down. That's all for a quick overview of SIADH versus DI. Again, you can find more nursing school help in the complete nursing school bundle. Happy studying future nurses.